Hello everybody. Thanks for joining me for a Sunday stretch. So I'm still a little bit nervous. This is still a little bit new to me. So, um, but anyway, let's get straight into it. Remember, listen to your body, take your time and enjoy it. Okay. We'll start with the side stretch. So we're gonna come into mountain pose, arms down by your sides, nice and relaxed. Inhale your arms up. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. I'm just going to make sure that, yes, it's picking up the sound. <laughs> Inhale up and down. Give the shoulders a little roll. And then we're going to go into supported side stretch. Inhale up. Right arm down and reach over with the left. Chest round to the front. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Inhale up, nice and tall in between, and then exhale down the other side. Inhale up, and bring those hands down. Roll the shoulders. Okay, we're going to come to the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Going to come into a forward bend. Inhale up. So a gentle back bend and then exhale forward. So coming into a forward bend, grab the backs of your legs. Remember you can have a bend in your knees if that's more comfortable for you. So draw your chest down towards your thighs. That's it. And then we're going to come into the hamstring opener. So we're going to place the left hand in front of the feet. We're going to bend the left knee. Lift the right hip and the right hand up. To keep your chest open and don't forget to breathe. <laughs> and release, come back down into that forward bend in between. That's it, draw that chest down. Again, bend your knees if that's more comfortable. And then the other side, place the right hand down, bend the right knee, lift the left hip and the left hand up. Again, look up, don't hold your breath. And release, and back into that forward bend. Pull that chest down. And then plant your hands on the mat. Step the right foot back for runner's lunge. Drive that right heel away. Hands either side of that left foot. And step that left foot back into plank, the shoulders directly over the wrist, pull the tummy in, nice strong core, knees to the floor, chin and chest or straight down onto your tummy if that's better for you, hug the body with the elbows and then slide forward and up for cobra. Tuck your toes, Walk your dog, exhale into downward dog. So just bending the knees one at a time, you can ease into this pose. Check your feet are hip width apart, then drive the heels downwards, the hips up and back, and your chin and chest to your thighs. With that wonderful stretch down the back of the legs. Keep breathing. And then look forward. Step your right foot forward for runner's lunge. Left heel drawing away. Bring the left foot forward into a forward bend. Again, bend your knees if you wish. And then inhale up. Exhale back. And down to mountain. When you come into mountain, remember that imaginary string that's pulling your head up so you've got a nice straight back. And then we're going to do the other side. We're going to take the left leg back first this time. So inhale up, gentle back bend, and then exhale forward. Forward bend, first of all. And then plant the hands and step the left foot back first. But keep that right knee over the ankle. And then right foot back into plank. 
Kura Tamien. Knees to the floor, chin and chest to the floor. Slide forward and up. For a gentle cobra, bring those shoulders down away from your ears, make sure they're not up here. Pull that head up, lift the head, that's it. Tuck your toes. Walk your dog. Exhale as you come back into dog. Press those heels down, the hips up. Chin and chest to your thighs. Look forward. Step your left foot forward for runner's lunge. And then your right foot forward into that forward bend. And then inhale up, exhale back and down to mountain. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to stay where we are. We're going to get ourselves into warrior two from here. Inhale the hands up, gentle back bend, exhale forward. Forward bend again first. And then plant your hands on the floor. Take that right foot back and turn it out. And then inhale up into warrior two. So check that left knees over the ankle, stretch those arms out. You know, remember, imagine someone's pulling them in opposite directions. Nice big breath in. And then let that back hand slide down the back leg and the left hand up for peaceful, or reverse warrior. Reaching up, that's it. Keep breathing. Inhale back, stretch those arms. And then side angle, place that left forearm on top of your thigh and bring your right arm alongside your ear. Bring that chest round to the front to correct your alignment. That's it. Keep breathing. Inhale up, stretch those arms, that's it. And then bring both hands back to the front, either side, lift that back heel, left foot back into plank again. Drive those heels away, knees to the floor, chin and chest to the floor, slide forward and up for Cobra. Tuck your toes, back into dog. Press those heels down and the hips up. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna step the right foot forward and turn the left foot out so that we come up into warrior two on this side. Unfortunately, I can't see you now, but <laughs> hopefully you can see me. <laughs> so stretch those arms. And a nice big breath in. And then let that back hand slide down again. And right hand lifting up. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Keep smiling. Inhale back. Stretch those arms. And then right forearm on top of your thigh, left arm alongside your ear, chest rim to the front. And again, keep breathing. Inhale back to warrior two, stretch those arms. Then bring both back to the front, lift that back heel and step it forward into the forward bend. Coming down, inhale up, exhale back. And down to mountain. Okay, I'm just going to come back to the front because we're going to come into a what? We're going to do the body roll. So we're going to bring the feet wide, but the toes closer than the heels, hands on your waist. Nice big breath in. So we're going to lean forward and do that body roll. So three circles to your right. Is one of my favourites, although I think I love them all. <laughs> Good. 
And then when you've done three that way, three back the other way. Make sure I haven't unplugged myself. Oh, losing my microphone. There we go. So do three both ways and then release the hands and just grab the elbows and swing from side to side. You've got that lovely inner thigh stretch. It was so nice. Okay. And then just walk those fingertips out so you've got a nice long spine. Bring those shoulders up, sort of in line with the hips, and then rock those hips from side to side. Pull your tummy in. So you feel that gentle stretch in the inner thighs. And then walk your hands over to your right foot and just let the elbows bend as you just relax down over that right thigh. So you feel that stretch in the left inner thigh. And we're going to intensify that stretch now by keeping that left hand on top of your right foot. You lift your head so your spine is long and you, as soon as you do that, you feel that stretch in the left thigh. And then take that right hand up so your chest is open and you can really feel the stretch in the left inner thigh. Keep breathing. And lower down. And then walk both hands over to your left foot and then relax down there just for a breath or two. Let the elbows bend. And then keep that right hand on top of your left foot. Lift your head, lengthen your spine, feel the stretch in the right thigh this time and then take that left hand up. Keep breathing. And release. Place both hands on the mat, just push that mat forward, bring your head down. You can have a gentle bend in your knees if that's more comfortable. Grab the backs of your legs and just rock from side to side. And then we're going to inhale up nice and slow, roll up to a gentle back bend. And then bring those hands down. And then come back into mountain pose. So let's do a bit of work in mountain. Feet together, shoulders relaxed. Remember that imaginary string, head up. Take a nice deep breath. And then we're going to tree pose. So shift your weight onto your left leg. Remember you engage the thigh, but you don't lock the knee. So bring the right foot up to wherever's comfortable for you. Fix your eyes on a non-moving spot. And hold. And slowly coming down and release. In between, we do that little dance where we relax the thighs. And we come on to the other side. So shift your weight onto your right leg, engage the thigh, knee soft, left foot up, turn that knee out and take the hands up. Bring the hands down and release. And just do that little dance one more time. Okay, come back to the top of the mat. We're going to get ourselves down into low lunge. So feet hip width apart. Nice big breath in. Gentle back bend and then exhale as you come forward. Into the forward bend, bring that chest down. Bend in your knees if you wish. Okay, plant your hands and step your right foot back. A runner's lunge and then low lunge. Let that right foot, no, not right foot, right knee even, sink to the floor. Inhale up for low lunge. Reach up. If you find this too strong, you can keep your hands on that knee, but just experiment with it. You can feel that stretch down the front of this thigh as your, as your hips sink nice and low. Exhale the hands down. 
and then straighten that left leg by drawing those hips back over that right knee, fold down. And if you bring this hip forward, you're kind of squaring the hips up. You can feel that wonderful hamstring stretch. Engage that left thigh. And come back up, bring that foot down, knee back over the ankle, inhale up. Low lunge. Okay, take the hands down and clasp them behind your back. So bring your chest forward, get rid of any tension in the chest, draw those shoulder blades together. And then keep that left hand behind. Bring the right hand forward onto your left knee. Take a nice big breath in and exhale over your left shoulder. A lovely spinal twist. Don't hold your breath, just use the breath to increase that twist, but don't strain. And release back to the front. Inhale up. Below lunge. Exhale down. And tuck your right foot, left foot back, a bit of dog walking in between. And then heels down, hips up, chin and chest to your thighs, a downward dog, and then we'll do it all on the other side. So look forward and step that right foot forward, right knee over the ankle, left knee sinks to the floor. Inhale up for low lunge. Reaching up, keep breathing. Feel those wonderful stretches. Exhale the hands down, straighten that right leg as you draw those hips back, hold it with your right foot, hold it with your right, hold your <laughs> right foot with your right hand even, engage that thigh, that's it, never mind, keep breathing, keep smiling. <laughs> And bring that knee back over the ankle. Inhale up, the low lunge. Stretch those arms and hands. Relax the shoulders. Clasp the hands behind into the yoga lock. So bring your chest forward, shoulder blades together. And then keep that right hand behind, bring that left hand forward onto your right knee, big breath in. Exhale over your right shoulder. Lovely spinal twist. That's it, keep breathing. And release back to the front, last time for low lunge. Exhale down, untuck that left foot, right foot back. Walk your dog, heels down, hips up, tummy in. And then we're gonna come into tabletop. So bring those knees down, just check your alignment. And then we're gonna bring that left knee forward for pigeon. So bring that left knee forward next to your left hand and slide the right leg back. Take a nice breath in. So lift up, whoops, microphone has come off. <laughs> and then fold down over that left thigh and relax. And pigeon with forward fold. Okay, slowly lift up, bring those hands back, lift up, untuck your right foot, left foot back, walk your dog in between, heels down, hips up, tummy in, and then we'll do the other side, we're going to go from downward dog this time though, right knee next to your right hand, slide the left leg back, sit back on that right buttock, lift up, 
and roll down. Close your eyes. Pigeon with forward fold on the right side. Slowly coming back up, inhale. Untuck your left foot, right foot back. Into downward dog. And then back down into tabletop. Sit back on your heels. And then we're going to bring the feet forward into staff pose. So remember in staff, you sit up on top of those sit bones. So pull all the flesh out under your bottom, engage your thighs, flex your feet, hands down by your side, shoulders relaxed, that imaginary strings pulling your head up. So a lovely straight back. That's it, looking straight ahead. Inhale up. Just into a forward bend, first of all, just down as far as is good for you. Excuse me, I'm gonna to have to move this because I can't bend. <laughs> as far as is good for you. So you can stay here or you can increase it slightly. You can have a gentle bend in your knees as well if you wish. So listen to your body, never strain. Take another breath. And use the breath to come down a bit lower if that's comfortable for you. Inhale up. And exhale down. Back into star pose. And we're going to do it head to knee. So we're going to bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left leg. We're going to relax that right hip and knee. Engage this thigh, left side. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Folding down. You can feel a stretch in your right hip and knee. Just relax down there. And slowly coming back up, inhale, exhale, bring that leg back. So back into staff pose in between, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll do the other side. So the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Engage that right thigh, sit up nice and tall, inhale up. And exhale over that right knee. That's it. Close your eyes, relax down there. Inhale up. Exhale down and back into staff pose. Lift that head, relax the shoulders. And then we're going to lie down. So gently bend the knees, just lie down nice and slowly. So keep the feet flat on the floor, the knees bent. Just look at the ceiling so you don't injure your neck. So we're going to do bridge pose. So we're going to push down, hands flat on the mat, push down with the feet as you curl your tailbone up, squeeze your buttocks, pull your tummy in. So you can stay there or you can clasp your hands and roll onto your shoulders. And open up the chest and draw the shoulder blades together, whatever's better for you. Don't let your knees splay out to the sides, bring the knees towards each other. Keep breathing. And then release your shoulders, place your hands flat on the mat, and then roll down very gently and slowly. And then draw those knees up, hug them in, and gently rock. From side to side, get rid of any tension in that lower back. And then keep the knees where they are. We're going to do recline twist. So extend the arms out to either side. Take a nice big breath in. 
Exhale those knees down to your right side and gently turn your head to the left if it's comfortable. Close your eyes, a wonderful spinal twist. Okay, engage your core. Inhale those knees back to the center. And exhale them down to the left side and turn your head to the right and close your eyes. Inhale back. Hugging those knees again, rocking from side to side, and then bring the feet to the floor. So the knees are still bent, and we're going to go into reclined goddess. So bring the soles of the feet together, let the weight of the knees draw them down either side, and clasp your elbows above your head, close your eyes, your chest is open. It's a lovely passive inner thigh stretch. So gradually as your knees get closer to the floor, as your inner thighs relax. Release your hands, use them to gently draw your knees back together and hug the knees in. And then open the knees and grab the outsides of the feet. Bring the knees down either side into happy baby. That's it. And then bring the knees back together and slowly come down into corpse pose. So stretch those feet out, arms down by your sides. Just close your eyes. We're just going to have a nice little rest now. So your palms are facing up, fingers are lightly curled, so there's no tension in the hands. Just allow your feet to relax to either side. Close your eyes. And just become aware of that gentle rise and fall of your body with each breath. Just relax your scalp, your forehead, your temples your cheekbones and your jaw, relax your neck and your throat, your shoulders and your arms, your chest, your upper back, your lower back, your abdomen, hips, Eyes, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. Now give your fingers and toes a little wiggle. Keep your eyes closed. Draw those knees up and hug them in. And just gently rock from side to side. And bring your feet down to the floor. Roll onto your right side into the recovery position. And then slowly bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall, a nice deep breath. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just gonna get up and come to the screen. Oh, wonderful, Lynn and Chok Dee Dee.
Hi, so lovely to see you. <laughs> I wish I could actually see you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and that you feel lovely and relaxed for your Sunday. And um, feel free to let me know how you feel and that whether you enjoyed it. I really hope you did. I would say this is all. I'm apologised for the. I've still got a few microphone issues and uh, <laughs> things to iron out. But um, hopefully, I'll uh, get this all, all all good, and I'll do these regularly. I'll get a time that's good for everybody. Hope well. And um, thank you very much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you soon. If you've got any questions, though, either well, comment below or whatever. And have a very happy Sunday. <laughs> did the variation on the thing? Oh, you did. Excellent. Excellent. So do you feel good? I hope you feel good. <laughs> okay. Well, as I say, I'll finish the stream now. But um, if you've got any questions or if you want to see anything in particular or if you want to do anything or, you know, let me know and I'm off on one of my waffles again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Namaste. <laughs>